St. Francis of Assisi. Our guardian angels. Our lady of sorrows. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to celebrate this Mass with great joy in your heart. Thanks be to God. St. Mary the Assumption. Mother perpetual help. From the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth with your mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. 
Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying. Give hope to the poor and the unemployed. Heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed. Teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended you. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. And the prayer for our homes. Mother, perpetual help. We choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender and motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other. Love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children love and fear of God. Bless all children, that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility, that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign the entire family of mankind. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon our sins. For the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the only Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I answered you. On the day of salvation, I helped given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritage. Say, say to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pasture be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Zion. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his works, words, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and 
raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. This Lent we have acquired the beautiful devotion of the sacramental chaplet called the Seven Sorrows of Mary. We will pray the chaplet tonight 
because we wish to honor the Immaculate Heart of Mary, pierced by the sword of our sins. As St. John wrote in our Gospel today, Jesus told us, if we honor the Son, then we honor God, we honor God the Father, who sent the Son. Well, doesn't it hold equally true then, that if we honor the Mother of the Son, then we give honor to the Son,
kill his brother is a sin. St. Francis of Assisi, our guardian angel, our lady of sorrows.
you may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations, that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him, that we may be aware of our dependence on God, even in the midst of our human achievements, that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father, that we may die in peace with Christ and our fellow men, we may be comforted the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. And to pray that our departed brothers and sisters would quickly share in your son's resurrection. We pray in a special way at this Mass for the repose of the soul of Mary Ann Cardot. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, let her perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May Mary Ann's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life.
and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and Almighty Father. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrate it, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love. We offer you what you bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. And just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, your spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, those of every race and tongue who died in your friendship, bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity and a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus. Lead us now. 
takes away the sins of the world. Let's let us fall to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord,
God and mother of the church. You are also our mother, perpetual home. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your immaculate heart, so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we may always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better, and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of perpetual help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that, when it's consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. And our prayer please today. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed universe, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all of his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us that grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you we thank the eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to do them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. And above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us from all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother, as our mother perpetually. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through this movement, inspire us to greater confidence in God's love and mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God, persevere in this love, to the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the sake of our families, our church community, especially for Benjamin Stenson. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings, carried our sorrows, in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sake. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions and illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones, whom you call us. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Pray our prayers, St. Joseph. Blessed Joseph, who died in the arms of Jesus and Mary, obtain from me, I beseech you, the grace of God in in that hour of heaven and perish, assist me by your presence, and protect me by your power against the enemies of my salvation. To your sacred hands, live and die, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I commend my soul. Proud about the world, 
seeking their own souls. Amen.